My apology. My apology will not make the national news. My apology, some will refuse. My apology, well, my apology just started and I'm not quite sure if it's enough to say the least. My apology is not a gimmick. My apology is not a clever wordplay, rather what I've been procrastinating, I'm here to say. My apology will not sound better than Kevin Rudd's, but it will carry on and emphasize more than just... Sorry. My apology is not a fiction story with a twisting end. It's what I should have said back then. It will not be any different. It's never to offend black nor white or anything for that matter. And mostly, my apology will not start the same way. You probably heard thousands of other keynote speech start the same way that they start and they start to say, acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we gather. It's said but hardly ever meant. It's starting to sound more of a compliment than an actual repent. I can't exclude myself from saying it. I'm aware of my unforgivable acts of pretense when I should have seeked out the culture, learned the languages, hear the stories from different tribes, feel the grief and know how dignity is lost when there's no longer any sense of pride. My apologies for the second class citizen, men and women and children, almost invisible, seeing their culture wiped out is despicable. My apology dates back to 1788. I myself am an intruder, invaded the land without no one, still showing lack of respect to the owners of the land by calling this place home. Let me dearly apologize for accepting and becoming a citizen. I'm almost in the same category as Captain Cook. I pledged an allegiance to serve and respect the white man instead of the black owner. So if I'm to love and die for this country, I need to know you're with me, understand and forgive me. A refugee is who I was, my country would never accept me. But this is not an excuse, here is my apology. For every child taken away, every mother who died yesterday and those living wishing they would die today, every father powerless, indigenous empowerment if you want to stand for something, what's left of the people who once owned this land, what's left is the crushed up bones, soul and sand, the culture disrespected celebrated on a day called Australia Day. So if and for any reasons you have any doubts you will hear me shout, always has, always will be, Aboriginal's land. My apology.